My name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today I wanted to do a video on ecstasy and its effects on the heart. Now ecstasy or MDMA is a psychoactive stimulant which is used as an illicit recreational drug. It shares properties of both hallucinogens and amphetamines. It typically causes wakefulness, feelings of euphoria, emotional intimacy, disinhibition, um, empathic communication, and sexual arousal. This is because it increases the amount of noradrenaline, serotonin, and dopamine in our systems. It has a half-life of about eight hours, but can take up to 40 hours to get most of it out of the body. So 40 hours to get 95% of it out of the body. It acts within 20 minutes to one hour after taking it. The maximum levels are reached at about two hours. The effects last three to six hours and can persist for greater than 24 hours. It is eventually broken down in the liver, but it has toxic effects on the heart, on the liver, and the kidneys, and the brain. It can cause profoundly um, raised body temperatures and subsequently dehydration. Because it's used in hot atmospheres, uh, the dehydration can be made significantly worse because of this. The important thing to understand is that the potential for toxicity exists in everyone and with every use. Up to 70% of people who take ecstasy take it with other illicit drugs and 50% take it with alcohol. When they present to hospital, the, a third present after a collapse, a fifth present with heart palpitations, and about one in 10 present with uh, anxiety and dizziness. Complications include hypothermia, cardiac arrest, uh, rhabdomyolysis, which is where our muscle tissue gets broken down, and then disseminated intravascular coagulopathy, which means that we develop problems with clotting. So our blood becomes very thin, can start bleeding, but also can also clot very easily. So you can both bleed and develop blood clots everywhere, which can be incredibly dangerous. You can develop kidney failure, you can develop liver failure, you can develop seizures, and you can also have sudden cardiac death from ecstasy. And that can be with a single use of ecstasy. One of the mechanisms by which ecstasy can be dangerous is that it can be very toxic to the heart. This can be, there have been lots and lots of scientific reports about people developing cardiac complications, both from acute use and chronic use. What this means is that if you use ecstasy today, you could have changes happen to your heart, which could haunt you for several years down the line, even though you may have stopped using ecstasy after a little while. So you can develop chronic changes within the heart, which don't go away when you stop using the ecstasy. It's important also to understand that in the acute setting, you can suffer from a heart attack or a cardiac arrest. There have been studies where a single dose of ecstasy in rat models has been shown to cause heart attacks and permanent cardiac damage. In humans, there have been numerous reports of patients who, young patients who take ecstasy to develop left ventricular hypertrophy, which means that their heart becomes thicker and more muscular because it is working harder because of their, the use of ecstasy. The problem with this is that because the heart is working harder, it becomes more muscular. Because it becomes more muscular, in some way that makes it stiffer, it doesn't relax as well, and because it becomes more muscular, the blood supply to it is not going to be as good because you've got the same blood supply with a very muscular heart. So that's one of the big problems. If you have left ventricular hypertrophy, then of course the heart can become weaker over a period of time. The heart can be prone to developing heart rhythm disturbances as well. It is also worth knowing that in some people you can develop a cardiomyopathy or a weak heart as a result of ecstasy use. So a weak flabby heart, which may or may not improve following treatment and obviously discontinuation of the ecstasy. There's also been some reports then that patients who use ecstasy on a regular basis can have abnormal heart valves. So the heart valves can become abnormally thick. And there was a study where they looked at 29 patients and they found that eight of them had abnormal heart valves. And the only explanation for the abnormal heart valves was the fact that they were using ecstasy. It also appears that ecstasy can increase the risk of heart attacks even after a single use 
although this is uncommon. The mechanism of heart attacks is thought to be due to spasm, a bit like cocaine, so you get spasm, the blood cannot get through to the heart muscle, but because you're using a stimulant, the heart is working harder, so you're getting a double whammy. The heart is working harder, it needs more blood, but the blood cannot get there. The other thing to say is that because the blood cannot get there, what then happens is that the heart muscle starts suffocating, the heart will start becoming more irritable, that can trigger off abnormal, dangerous heart rhythm disturbances, it can cause permanent damage to the heart muscle. You can also get, because of the spasm, stagnation of blood, and the blood can then clot, and that can make everything a lot worse. So I hope you found this video useful. I personally think that this is a, um, a very dangerous drug. I think one night of fun could lead to long-lasting and permanent damage to the heart and have a significant impact on prognosis and quality of life. And personally, I just don't think it's worth it. Thank you so much.